Today is current time 10 28th 2022. And it's October 28th. You okay? Just doing guys a little morning routine, little update in my life. Because the last time y'all see me was, well, last time y'all see me on YouTube was in Jamaica, and that was in September, the end of September. And I keep letting these days go by and I'm failing to upload my vlogs in a timely manner but this vlog y'all gonna be seeing is me coming home from jamaica and i'm gonna be prepping for my paris trip but i really didn't want to put it out to the public yet just because i thought i was gonna have that video up before i left for paris which i you know as you can see i didn't paris dubai amsterdam all of them but um so i was really gonna keep it a secret but i was really prepping for that trip which is which you guys are gonna see, but I'm not gonna say that much. But I wanted to give you guys, of course, like a time, real time, what I'm looking at, what I'm doing now. Also, who is sponsoring this video is Dossier. I am wearing their Floriental Vanilla. I just needed to put this little spray on, just so y'all know my little my morning routine now. This become my natural regimen. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I got the real designer ones, but their decoration go and go shit. I'm telling you right now. I put everybody on to dossier. Even everyone around me, they wear dossier, okay? $29 a bottle. $29, y'all. A bottle? Come on now. I'm sick of spending $1,000. I'm sick, okay, not $1,000, but I'm sick of spending $150 for a per, perfume. And then the $30 for the travel size. When this is like a full bottle size. It's like one full ounce. It's big. Bigger than my travel size, so I'll be paying $40 and $30 for it. But go ahead and shop dossier. Y'all know what's tea with me. I'm wearing Florental Vanilla. It's, I think it's inspired by the Black Opium. Yeah. My mom has Black Opium. She can't even tell the difference. So go ahead and go shop down here. $29 a freaking bottle, y'all. Are you kidding me? But hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to show you guys um, me getting, um, me coming home from our Jamaica trip. The things I got from Jamaica trying crumble cookies and some other stuff. Y'all just have to watch the video. Um, and yeah, I'm done talking. Just get straight into this video. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I don't know what's the last time, actually, the last time I uploaded from today, which is my Sunday reset vlog, which was like three weeks ago, three Sundays ago. Today is Tuesday because it's 12 o'clock in the morning. 
Um, I just came home from Jamaica. My flight was so freaking late. This fake hurricane. Ugh. But I wanted to just straight on get on the camera, start working, and start back to business. And just like, you know, start vlogging for y'all. But I want to show you guys all the packages I've got in the mail since I've been gone. I got one, two, three, four, five, six packages. I got five packages. And then I want to show you guys what I got on vacation. But I want to do the packages first because I want to know what I got because I don't remember. Oh, I bought this. I bought some glue rings for my lashes. Y'all know I do lashes. And next, I got another package. This is some hair promo. This is from Hermosa Hair. Ugh, this is golden color. It's not cute at all. I have a Macy's package. I already know what this is. This is my bedding. Because you guys know I bought a new bed. I got these, like, girl, $100 sheets. $100 of this. Just because I like the hotel fill up sheets. This is some Martha Stewart sheets. I don't know how much these work. And I think this is the sh... What is this? This is just a t-shirt they gave me. I'm about to return it because what? No. Dang, I thought I had better packages than this, y'all. I'm sorry for the, the, the lame-ass packages. This is the sheet, and that's the fitted sheet. I'm going to have a really cute bedspread. I got me a big-ass comforter right here. And then I need to order me some more pillows. And I need more pillowcases. So I still am in the works for looking for something like that. I think I know I got my picture up there. I need to get the second one put right there. So it's just a lot of stuff that's not in, that's not complete. And next, I want to show you guys what I got from Jamaica. Y'all, this was five dollars, and I'm gonna tell everybody that I handmade this though. Okay, I got it is a photo album. It says Jamaica at the bottom, and I want pictures of my family in here. I don't know. I love the vintage looks of shit. Like it gives me very much. Like, not Von Dutch. I had these booty shorts. Hopefully, I can fit this. But now I realize this shirt really doesn't go with them shorts. But shit, I'm going to make them go. And then I got this. It's a little anklet. I already have so many of these, but I don't have a white one. So, next time I go to Jamaica, I'm wearing this outfit. So I'm like, damn, girl, you got that already? I have a cuter top. I think it says just said Jamaica, but I couldn't find that one, so I was like, forget it. And the people that she got from only had like kid sizes, and she's small, so I definitely couldn't fit them sizes. The lady, I thought she said twenty dollars, but I'm like, bro, twenty dollars really? Did so she said twelve dollars? I said, oh yeah, give me that hair right now. I love my trip. It was it was fun and ghetto at the same time. But it's like, who's saying is not ratchet sometimes, you know? It was a lot of ass shaking. It was a lot of cursing. It was a lot of lit shit. It was a lot of... Camera battery's gonna die already, and I'm already sad because I'm not in the mood. Uh, uh, it was just feeling like fall 20 minutes ago. Now it's feeling like summer, so now we have to put the windows down. So first I want to say is it looks very dark sorry but y'all we are on the way to do some things i wanted to run this i wanted to return this thing from sephora i had this tom for tom ford perfume and i wanted the smaller size but i couldn't return the big one so now i'm about to just exchange the big one for some goodies from at sephora um what the fuck are you doing bitch? don't get burnt, cursed the fuck out early in the morning let me get out of my neighborhood first you know what i'm saying like Come on now. What the hell? What are you doing? You're on the wrong side of the road. We ain't in Jamaica, baby. You're on the right side now. Nah. Um, but yeah, that's first things first. Um, I have a lot of other stuff like H now I want to return. And then I also need to um re up on some What the hell's going on? Like go on your side of the road. Everybody don't know how to be on the right side of the road. What's going on? Well y'all, here's the shopping center. Sephora. After that, I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works. It's more than 60. What's say it again? More than 60 days. It says I bought it in July 29th or something. Yeah. The lady said I could come before that day. It was, I can over. Yeah, I was already told by here someone in this store. Let me see. I just came from a trip. 25 Yeah, it was July 28th. All right, I'll let Kelly handle you. Yeah, they told me I could come before 60 days, exactly. 
Okay. I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm starting my period, y'all, and we're doing okay. The first two days was really hell, but we're doing okay today. I love how I can just change my wallpaper fast with this new update. Like, sometimes I'm getting old, tired of my old, um, my old lock screens. I just need, like, a really good, refreshing drink. Oh, y'all, and Sephora, this lady was being so, like, I won't say... Yeah, I'm gonna say racist because she probably is racist. But y'all, like, when I first got inside the store, I was like, hey, I don't need to return this Tom Ford perfume. Um, the lady previously told me I had 60 days, and today would have been the 60th. Well, today is the 60th day, but um, automatically she tells me, oh, you can't return it since you made this purchase in July. Mind you, when she's saying it, she's not even looking at me, so I'm like, who are you talking to? So I'm like, um, what I say? I'm like, oh, what'd you, what'd you say? She was like, you made this purchase in July. And I'm like, yeah, on the 28th or 29th. She was like, yeah, the 28th. And I said, you know, that's within 20. I mean, that's within. Oh, why y'all can't see me no more? I just bought this gloss. I'm trying to see if it's cute. It is with a nice brown lip liner, though. It will be. Mm, it will be cute with a brown lip liner, though. And it's real thick. Like, real thick, y'all. If I don't want y'all lips looking black, you better go get you some a pink lip tip, tint or something. Um, but, yeah, she was like, oh, you can't return it. You got this purchase. You made this purchase in July. I'm like, ma'am. I didn't even say nothing. The lady next to her was like, hey, yes, I can override it. There's no need to even override it because it's within 60 days. And she was like, oh, wait, no need to override it. Like I had to take, I had to go to the next lady because the next lady was like, "Hey, yes, I can help you. Let me override. Let me come to my register." So I go to her register. She's a black girl, you know, doing queen shit, holding down another queen bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I go to her. And it's real smooth. She actually didn't even give me that. She did. She, she actually didn't put it on a um exchange card. She actually put it straight to my bank, which was like really lit. Cause like <laughs> now I get to use that hundred dollars for anything else. So like I was gonna use it in Sephora, but she gave me the opportunity to keep it on my card. So. Yeah, after that's done, I'm like, I'm still gonna shop in Sephora because I really wanted some new glosses to try, which is this one. I really like this one. I ain't gonna lie. So, I try to pretend, well, I didn't pretend, but I was kind of like slick trying to pretend looking like I was trying to check out. But, um, the lady that was on the register that didn't like me already, she just looked at me and walked away and asked somebody else to be on her register. And I wasn't even ready to be on the register yet. So I'm like, all right, she's at strike one. She's trying to avoid me. When she walked away from the um the registers, when I'm looking at the mini section, y'all know that's next to the register line. So she moves away. So I'm like, okay, boom, I'm leaving. Before I even leave, some other lady was like, hey, do you need help? Do you need me up ch checking you out? So that's boom. That's like red flag too. So I know the other lady that was just right here, she called you on the on the little thing was like, go oh, help that lady out or check her out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, no, I'm not checking out yet. I'm just looking at this section. So I leave that section. I go around. I look at these glosses. I pick up the glosses. I go back on the line. At this time, she's the only person on the line. And there was one lady in front of me. So I'm like, okay, boom. She leaves. I know what's up. As soon as I get to the front, she tells another lady, oh, can you get my register? I'm going to come right back. So the black lady was waiting for her to finish um, the girl in front of me. But the black lady that she was telling that to walked away to help somebody else real fast. So she walks away and she's in the in the, the racist lady. She's still like hurrying up trying to finish the lady she got in front of her right now. And they finish. She calls. She does this. She does this to another lady, but she's white. And she's really cool, though. I've seen these girls a couple, a lot, a lot of times. So she comes over and she's acting like she's taking over her register she starts putting her number in the other lady leaves to go to the back and i'm like all loud i'm like get the manager get the manager because now this is your third time this is your second time in this one setting trying to get some girls on your register because you don't want to check me out so um the manager starts to come and i go to the other lady i'm like no because She's doing some like racist type of shit to me. Like she's just trying to avoid me. This is her third time trying to avoid me. And the other lady like, yeah, I had some problems with her too. And I'm like, so I know I'm not tripping. 
So the manager comes out and I know this girl. I'm like, oh yes, girl. That's my girl right there. She's been there. We're gonna just work for a while. So ever since I started coming here, you know, I build relationships with people because people are good people. Like some people are really good people. So I'm building a real good. I'm just talking to her. I'm like telling her like what's wrong. Cause why is she acting like that? And like, you know. Cause I, I like my little corner stores that I go to often. What is this girl doing? She drinking water out of a cup. So I'm telling her how I feel. She was like, oh my gosh, I definitely understand. She was like, girl, because yeah, you come every other week. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. And I don't like feeling uncomfortable. Like, especially when I'm spending my money. I want to spend my money with places where I feel comfortable with the people I spend my money with. That's why I don't like spending my money at Linux or none of them stores because they don't even be caring about what you getting. Like, some lady lied to me and told me, oh, this perfume is a travel size. Bitch, you just lied to get a sale, right? I don't like that. So these people I like up here, they're truthful. Well, the people I go to, they be truthful and they they like really honest. They be like, oh yeah, I don't like that. I remember this Christian Dior um lip oil. Everybody was getting on TikTok. She was like, girl, it's not worth thirty dollars. Don't waste your money. And then with the Touchland um hand sanitizer, she was like, girl, just go on. If you want the looks, go on Shein, and she has the same Touchland bottle, and you can just put your own hand sanitizer, and they just come looking like that. These girls be trying to help me save a dollar trying to be a TikTok girl. So I just love them. And that one weird ass bitch, I don't fuck with her ass. She lucky I ain't cursing out in front of everybody, but she was lucky with too many white people and I got this damn YSL bag. When I got the YSL baby, I'm trying to look very um bougie and very um classy woman like. When you see me with the HM crossbody bag, you know I'm on my ghetto time. I ain't gonna lie, I really want something to eat. I really want some rice. But I got another trip to go, so I'm not trying to be a fat whore. I'm trying to look really good. Honestly, I've been loving how my fit, my body looks. I won't even lie to y'all. I love how my body looks. Like, I know I could do better. But I am definitely happy with how I look. Because maybe like two months ago, I did not like my body at all, y'all. Like, I felt very fat in the face. I felt very chubby in the ways. Like, everything just felt too fluffy. And now, I mean, it's still a little fluffy, but it's definitely better than where I was. I'm seeing my progress. So I'm grateful for me trying to be strict and put myself accountable for what I put in my mouth. And y'all, should we go to Claire's and get an ear piercing? Sleep on the airport. Yeah. I really was forgetting I was vlogging, but I've been going to Target. Is this the Tesla I was talking to earlier? Y'all, I was talking to a Tesla. But y'all, I'm finna go into Target. One thing I don't play is about people stealing my parking spot. One lady stole my parking spot one time, y'all. She got the curse of her, of her life. I don't think I understand. I may have left New York when I was 16, but I learned a lot, okay? Please understand. Take a parking spot in New York. You was coming back to your car with no tires. Your fuck. Your front windshield broke in because I thought I done threw the rock in it. Your car is keyed. Come on now. You know if you took a spot from a New York bitch, you it's over with. You might as well just start walking because you ain't walking back to a car. This next trip, my makeup gotta be on point. I can't see me. I don't know why. 
Listen, my makeup gotta be makeup in. You know? Because this trip, like, I, this is my time. Like, I can't wait to just embrace every minute of this trip. I actually like this. I don't know what. Let me say this to remember. This is a chai with white mocha. One pump of brown sugar and cinnamon doce and cinnamon doce powder. And it tastes like eggnog, the perfect winter drink. I just finished doing a good amount of shopping in Marshalls. You know me, you know I love the Marshalls, the Ross, the TJ Maxx, the Target. You know I love the vibe. You know I love them. And y'all know I love cute like um, boxers that got the animated look on them. So y'all, when y'all see these boxers when I do my haul, you could be like, oh yeah, that girl went up. A lot of people ask me too how do I budget and how do I um, pay myself with my lash business. I kind of don't want to do a video on that, but I would just give myself a weekly allowance based off how much money I've made throughout the week. I was just on vacation, so I'm going off how much money I made before vacation. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out do I want crumble cookies, but I feel like that would make my vlog interesting, but I really don't feel like eating it. My drink is so sweet where it's like I really don't need nothing. For real. But we gonna see. I'm about to go drive to it. This thing is two minutes away. I'm trying to figure out where you at if you two minutes away. I'm not gonna try it until I'm with my mom because I want her review too. It looks super good, I'm not gonna lie, but it looks so humongous. Like, what the freak? But y'all, I did a lot of, I wanna show y'all. Here we go. See? The cookies look really, 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 really big. I'm back on the camera up a lot, but. You yeah, can see how the cookies look. I try to get every flavor. But yeah, I got every flavor. The, the the chips look. These cookies are so big. Like I just don't even want to talk over it because they look like they're just so. Ah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna have the cookies on the car seat. I'm about to just drive straight home. I got the dog some food. Uh, I don't got no food for myself, but like I know I want some noodles. And with these damn sweets and how much money I spent outside today, I don't need to be buying no food outside. I better buy me a book and be able to jelly sandwich. That's another thing, y'all. If I do a lot. Hold on. I got my gears messed up. Okay, that's right. If I do a lot of shopping, y'all, y'all will not see me out. Y'all won't see me outside till the next week. I might go to the gym today. I haven't been to the gym in a while. I'm in a lot of traffic, so I'm talking a lot. 
for y'all. Did I tell y'all upgraded from Metro PCS? Gross. In love with her T-Mobile. Mm. If y'all know, I had AT&T for like six, seven years. Don't be getting AT&T, y'all, because, no. And Metro, y'all, is doodle. It's good for the first week of having it, but after the first week, you have no data. Unlimited my black ass. Oh, y'all, this is the chocolate chip cookie. Pumpkin, raspberry, cake, and nutter butter, peanut butter. So now we're gonna try it and give it honest reviews. I don't think I want that peanut butter one, so you can just pick that up and eat it. This looks all right, I ain't gonna lie. This is the raspberry, y'all. Let's taste it. You gotta eat it in the inside, you can't eat your crust. They needed to put more strawberry in it. Raspberry. Oh, raspberry. It's too sweet. Yeah, that's too much peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. one and this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is good afterwards, yeah. but when you first chew it, it tastes too ugh. Oh, I like it. Pumpkin's really good. Y'all, this video was supposed to be up 10 28. It was supposed to be up Friday, but it's gonna have to be up on Saturday, 10 29. My brother's birthday. His birthday is literally in nine minutes. So when this video goes up on the 29th, just spam happy birthday or yeah, because we celebrate our people, okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the intro was different from the rest of the video, but the intro is how I'm gonna start recording my new videos. I'm just trying to have a new way of putting out my content because i need new um viewers and i feel like i just need to do something new and fresh and start different do different things so i'm gonna be changing my style of content and if you are new to my channel um hey i didn't give myself a proper intro and i didn't even put an intro in this video because i think i want to change that as well but just stick around subscribe i am Roger, and i hope you guys you know want to stay tuned with my life a little bit you know i'm trying to change my content up be a different Give off a different vibe for 2023 that's coming up now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys spam happy birthday to my brother if you got to the end of this video. And if you got to the end, I appreciate you so much for watching my video and watching my content. I really just don't know how to thank y'all enough for just supporting me and being there for me and just like cheering me on when I don't post. So thank y'all. So if you got to the end of this video, I just want you just to say happy birthday. Tony, happy birthday, Tony. It's his birthday. Or you can say happy birthday, brother, whatever. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all. And I'll see you in my next one. Hopefully it's really, really, really soon.